Listen, I was here the night Kelly debated Warnock. Um, and I listened to that. I thought she did a fantastic job. Yes, she, she does. Fantastic yes. job. What was remarkable to me was to listen to her challenge him and ask him to denounce Marxism. She asked him to denounce mm -hmm. socialism, mm -hmm. and he didn't. That's right. He refused. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And that's how important it is to him that he doesn't want to even speak out and say he doesn't support it because that's what he's going to work towards every single day while he's working in Washington, D.C. Now listen, I served in D.C. for eight years. Don't hold that against me. I represented South Dakota in the U.S. House for four terms for eight years. I knew that I served with socialists. I would have candid conversations with them. Uh, they would never say it publicly, but their belief system aligned with socialism. But they knew that if they ever said that, that that would be baggage to them getting reelected again. It is amazing to me how much that has changed. How now they're proud. How they do press conferences on socialism and the policies and the agenda of what that is and what it means. In two years, it dramatically changed in this country. Mm. And I just can't even believe how quickly it changed. Right. That's why we right. need to be all hands on deck here on Tuesday. Because if they can do that, make that kind of a change to being in the closet and knowing they can't speak about it, to openly declaring and publicizing and doing press conferences on believing on that, mm -hmm. uh, that's mm -hmm. shocking to me. Yeah. And we need to make sure that we shut it down and start educating our kids about the difference between what socialism is and what America is.